course, as soon as word was heard about Darrell Royal, a lot of reaction. Brian Sanders on campus caught up with a number of former Longhorn players under Royal. Brian? Well, good evening, Roger. Anyone that knew Daryl Royal certainly has a story about him, as you mentioned, name on the stadium. And then behind me is the statue in his honor here in the southeast corner. Several people have stopped by today to lay flowers and pay their respects. He was the father of Texas Longhorn football for 65 years. But for his players, he was simply coach. And that's how they'll remember him. Uh, we're going to throw a long pass. Fourth and three against Arkansas in 1969's Game of the Century was a defining moment in Texas Longhorn football. Coach Daryl Royal instructed James Street to throw deep, and the play led them to victory. But it could have gone the other way. We needed to have a big play at that point in time, so we needed to have that big pass. But that was coach. You didn't talk back to him. He told you what to do. You didn't ask him. He didn't ask you what you wanted to do. He told you what you But then he expected you to follow through. As the years passed, their relationship changed. I told him the last time I saw him, I've told him for years, I love you, coach, and I appreciate the opportunities you gave me. Traveling with them is like traveling with a rock star. I mean, people come up to him from all over and uh, want, want to know him. He was a legend and a mentor and a friend, and it was tough to see him struggle with Alzheimer's. He had a lot of pride, and uh, he was Darrell Wall, and I think that's probably the frustrations of the disease itself, is that you, he, you know or he knows he cannot do what he wants to do. But he will always be coach. And that's a bond that can never be broken. He was a simple person that was real. And he was, you know, dance with who brung us. He, he brung us, and he, he'll dance with us for the rest of his life. He's just a coach. Dance with who brung you, and luck is where preparation meets opportunity. Some of his more famous sayings that made him a living legend. The stadium will be open until 11 o'clock tonight for those that want to come by and pay tribute. There will also be a public memorial service next Tuesday at noon at the Irwin Center. Live on the UT campus, Brian Sanders, KXAN News. Brian, thank you. Governor Rick Perry and his wife Anita released this statement. Darrell Royal was a coaching icon and the face of football in the Lone Star State for a generation of Texans. Anita and I joined Texans everywhere in mourning his loss. And at a news conference on the UT campus today, University President Bill Powers remembered Coach Royal, a man he called a great friend. Coach was a uh, very smart. He had a folksy way about him. Uh, it camouflaged a, a, a very intelligent person. Uh, coach Royal was a uh, tremendous football coach, a tremendous uh, athletic director and member of our community. Uh, I'm proud to say he was also a close friend. And here's a live picture from the 40 acres. The UT Tower are basking in orange this evening. The university will hold a public memorial for Coach Royal at noon next Tuesday, November 13th, at the Frank Irwin Center. It is open to the public. There are 17,000 seats, and I wouldn't be surprised. Every one of them will be filled. And we're hearing from the family that they'll be holding a private funeral service.